Today, I'm gonna be pulling the ultimate prank on my brother. Y'all thought the cocaine prank was lit? Wait till you see what I have up my sleeve for this one. I claim to be the prank king in my family, and this one right here is the one that's gonna prove it all. As many of you may or may not know, my brother is the biggest Devin Booker fan of all time. My brother's most prized possession is a game-worn Devin Booker college jersey gifted to him by Devin Booker himself. He has this jersey framed and he doesn't let anyone touch it, he doesn't let anyone go near it, and he doesn't even let anyone look at it. Today, I'll be tricking my brother into thinking I sold his most prized possession to a local sports collectible store. And he is not getting that jersey back. I've devised the perfect plan to take this prank to the very next level. Step one, steal the jersey. All right guys, this is Andrea and she's gonna be playing as a fake Amazon employee to distract my brother. Yeah. How much time <laughs> do you think you could buy us? I could uh, give a minute or two at a trip and fall, have some uh, surprise, explode everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That'll give us like two minutes to go in and grab the jersey. I know where it's at and no, we just got to be fast with it. All right. Okay, sounds good. All right, good luck, okay? Awesome. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. I won't. <laughs> All right. She's going up to the door. Dennis should be recording in there. We got to be in and out, bro. You same bolt. Maybe once she knocks, we start moving. <laughs> Okay, she knocked. I think we should just get going. Okay. Who is it? Oh, we could see through here. Oh, a package. Oh. Hi. Hi. I have a package for Ryan and I just want to say we had a um one of the Okay. Let's go. Just to remember that I just Ryan. Uh, Ryan used to live here, but he doesn't have one of those like you take it to the Oh yeah, that would be great. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Heavy man. <laughs> She's still stalling Brandon. Oh, his name? Okay, I'll let you guess. So you mentioned you like my shirt? No, can you open the trunk, please? We have to park down the street, guys. Okay. Mm. Have a good day. Okay, you too. Bro, she fall? She fell and she dropped the package and the stuff fell. I felt so bad for her, bro. Step one, complete. <laughs> We have acquired the jersey, and now it is time for step number two, which is the actual setup of the prank. So we are on our way to the sports store right now, and the owners are already in on this. They already know what's going on, but we gotta set up the cameras and make sure everything goes as planned so Brandon has no idea it's a prank. I am so freaking excited. So we just pulled up to Honey Hole Collectibles, and my brother's actually on the way because what he thinks we're filming is a $10,000 sports card pack opening. But realistically, we are trading in this jersey for something believable. We need to find something in there that's just as believable to trade this game-worn college Devin Booker jersey. You cannot find this anywhere. So we're gonna go in right now, find something believable, and when Brandon gets here, he might see this posted up on the wall. What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm here with the jersey. If you wanna check it out. Yeah, it looks cool, I like that. Dude, nice to meet you. Well, Thank you for letting us do this. By the way, this shop is insane. Holy crap, look at all the jerseys on the wall, bro. Is this the cards for the video? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, so we got them already set up. The main thing that we need is something believable to trade for this. And I spotted that Kobe one right there. I mean, that's insane. That's an old jersey too. So what do you think a current price for something game worn is? Probably three to five. Three to five? How much is that Kobe one? So that one's gonna be about six, six to seven. Really? Yeah. Do you think that's a fair trade, like a believable one? I'm a big Booker fan, so I'd do it. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. So we'll plant this on the wall, and I think he should see this, and then that's when the prank will begin. Yo, what's up? How are you? 
Nice to meet you. Oh, you guys got it? Yeah. No way, let's go. Okay, we got the jersey up. So once we reveal it's a prank, this is where I want it to turn into a double prank. We're gonna have Noah shut the camera off, but we're gonna set up GoPros around the shop. And after the prank, when I give you guys that Kobe jersey back, you can say like, hey, like no trade backs. And that's where I could even get mad and I'll be like, yo, like what, we had a deal. And my brother will be confused. So it's gonna be like two pranks in one. You could offer us some money for that. So it's like, you have to buy it back. You gotta buy it back? Okay. Yeah, and I'll be like, what? I'm not paying for that and we'll just keep it going. Okay, cool, let's do that. Oh man, I feel bad for Brandon. <laughs> Hold on, Dennis just texted me. They are 10 minutes away. We have 10 minutes to set up the GoPros. All right guys, so we got the GoPros. Dude, I'm so nervous for this prank. Like, this is definitely a next level prank and I'm just hoping we could pull this off. Yeah, facing good. towards that. I think this is good right here. One could be like facing there. That could be Maybe cool. From, like, in here, oh yeah, like behind a box. Yeah. Oh, that would be so good. Yes, I like that. Oh, dude, that is such a sick angle. I like that one. Okay, so we got that. Now we wait for Brandon. You guys think this is gonna go successful? It's gonna work. Hey, let's go. Guys, so they even put a price tag on the jersey, 7,500, and that's part of like the double prank. You ready for this? I need 7,500 bucks or it's not happening. Oh man, he's ready. All right, it's time for step three, the final step, the execution of the prank. Let's get it. Hey, you're Brandon? Yeah, Brandon. My, my brother. That's Brandon. He pulled a Brandon. Oh, no way. Yeah. You want to give it to Brandon? He's actually right here. Yeah, here, you can give it to him. What's your name? Landon. Landon? Like Brandon, but Landon? <laughs> Yo, Landon has a gift for you. Landon, what's up, man? From me? It's a Brandon trainer card. Oh, it says my name, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Bro, this store is actually so sick. They already have the cards set up. What's going to happen if I unbox a Devin Booker card? You're gonna cry. That's why I'm wearing this for good luck. I know, exactly. Yo, yo. Um, it's set up out in the front, right? Like right here? Yeah, yeah. All right, hell yeah. Yeah, so I brought out some pretty cool boxes. Um, more like more for itself, like Prism, Optic, all that stuff. Okay. Um, oh, they have Kobe over there, look. That's a Kentucky Booker one. Wait, what the hell? I didn't even notice That's that. Crazy. He only played one year in college. That's yeah, so weird. Yeah. All right, well, is there a way we could like, for the intro, like go around yeah, 100%. here? Okay. But wait, Sorry, Brendan, yeah. you have this, right? But if he gets, if he gets two more, oh, I have the same exact one. Do you know how rare that is? Really? They don't sell those. You have to get it from like a player or if you know someone. They don't sell those in stores. It's a pretty rare piece. Yeah, yeah. So it's a sick jersey though. Bro, yeah, it's crazy. We're gonna do the intro right here. Yeah, just the intro part and then we'll go around there. Dude, I feel so bad. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna just tell him the truth here, cause like I, I feel like I don't know. So that's actually your jersey. Uh, shut up. No, it's not. <laughs> Brandon, listen. Like, don't get mad at me or whatever, but this Kobe signed jersey, I actually traded for it. That's not my jersey. My jersey's at my house. So you wanted to trade for the Kobe jersey? And yeah, so I, yeah, I was trading you the Kobe jersey for that booker. Yeah. So yeah, that you got from somewhere else because that's not mine. I don't know where to find something like that. They only accepted trades for the Kobe jersey and you guys are huge booker fans. And you said you had family in Kentucky or was that? Okay. So I was just going to say you're friends with Devin Booker. So like if you want to just get another one. On college anymore. He doesn't play for that school. Those, that's a game worn jersey. He's not going to go back to. He's 26 years old. Yeah, I know, but he doesn't have another college jersey. He's you don't have get, multiple. Bro, if you gave me one. I'm not a beggar, and I'm going to be like, yo, book, can I get another game worn jersey? But you know how much I love Kobe, and they I, weren't pro that's like. Not mine, be honest. Is that really mine? I mean, I got it from him. So I. I no, I'm being, listen, listen, don't get like too mad, but I actually, like, I want to do a trade. I found this store and I saw that they had a Kobe signed jersey and I, you know how much I love Kobe, but I was thinking you could get another one. That's what I thought. Or I was thinking you could give them the Kobe Bryant one back and I could get this one back and we could go home and do the trading card video. I mean, we could still do the trading card video after we trade. Yeah, I wouldn't, I'd have to get 7,500 for that actually. So or, trades are final. No, my brother could give you that one back. No, trades are final, I can't. Wait. Are you serious? I promise you, yeah. It's in our contract. Okay. That was, I didn't know that. I thought we were initially doing the first prank, which is like, Brandon, this was supposed oh, to be a on, prank. Hold on, on, hold on. This was supposed to be a prank where, um, like obviously this was a prank. We're gonna get the Booker jersey back, right? For 7,500, yeah. I do seven if you really wanted the back. I didn't know this. Was wait, hold on. Okay, no, hold on. Wait, you could stop wait, recording wait. actually. Why are we negotiating? Wait, wait, wait. What are we negotiating? Wait, I thought you said that if, if like, we're gonna do the prank, mm -hmm. 
I can give you the Kobe jersey back and then we get that back. This was supposed, Brendan, this was supposed to be a prank. Like we did this on so purpose. That's really my jersey. Yes, I went and snuck into your house earlier and got it. But like is yeah. I'm I thought we were doing this like an actual trip. Like I missed that part. But now that you know it's a prank, can we just trade this back? Like we could just take that off the wall, put that back, like I, mean, I, I would do that plus I'd have to take two K at least. Wait, hold on. Why are we paying any sort of money for my jersey back? So we, we traded that. So I would have to get at least 7,500 back for it because we signed something for it. Yeah, but and didn't you might... tell him it was a prank? Yeah, that's what, I mean, we yeah. verbally agreed on it. So for like, sure, 100%, yeah. so like, why are you going to make me pay? Uh, Usually like, we don't do trade backs for that reason. But um, you left that out. Yeah, yeah. I thought we, we talked about that. Is that, are you guys being serious? That's just how we do it here. It's we, you know, we've ran into problems with trades in the past, and like this is just how we. Bro, I, I didn't know that, or else I wouldn't okay, have done well, the trade. So you I prompt. Which is fine. You took my jersey, which is also fine. You traded it as a prank. You didn't make sure you could get it back after the prank. I thought it was like once I said prank, like you guys would know to give it back. But yeah. I mean, Brandon, okay, like, time out, time out. how about we split it? I'm not paying money for my own jersey. Are you dumb? It. Why would I pay thousands of dollars for something that was in my closet? After? Well, I don't want to pay the 7500 either. You don't have to pay. Just get it. You guys can take the Kobe jersey back and then it was just a prank. You guys know who he is. He does pranks all the time. Like, Yeah, do you think like, you know, honestly, can we work something out? I mean, like, I didn't know it was going to be a problem. Like, that was... I mean, what if I had known that we were gonna have to pay to get it back, then like we wouldn't have even done this to begin with. I just wanted to make sure that we could get it back. We gotta run a business here. That's the other thing. No, no, I understand, but but you guys are gonna get this back. Yeah. Is this like worth more than the Booker jersey? Or it's pretty close, to be honest. It's pretty close. Yeah, college. So yeah, college is way more. That's that's something we've never seen. Like that's. I'm not negotiating something that was in my closet. I know that. That's what I'm confused about. And like, what do we do? If, if there was a random Booker jersey in a store and it was 7,000, I don't mind, I'll pay it. But that's already mine. Okay, guys, I have a quick question. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have a pet or something at home? A dog. A dog? You, you love the dog, right? Of course. Okay, so if I were to go into your house, take your dog, and then you came to my house and saw that dog, I wouldn't make you pay to get it back. I would give it to you back. Mm -hmm. I love this jersey. What do we Trade yeah, but I'm saying it's not like he's taking the Kobe and we're getting the jersey let's back. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do the, the Kobe jersey. Yeah. which call it thousand bucks. Bro, I'll pay. Listen, I'll pay the thousand. I don't want to cause any problem. I understand, but it's. I understand, but if that's the only way we could do it, I'll just get it back. How about the Kobe jersey and then the Booker jersey and then we just go home, or we'll do the trading card video. Or yeah, we could. Don't want to do the video anymore. That's fine too. Like, I would say like, th this by the way wasn't gonna happen. This was all a part of my prank to just lure you here to get this prank. Like to just, for you to see the jersey and for us to go back and forth and okay, we just- Okay, wait, so a thousand dollars is fine with the Kobe jersey? I do, I do a thousand. Okay, Brandon, I'll pay for we'll it, obviously. Okay, dude, I'm sorry. Dude, so dude, I'm sorry that you just got freaking pranked again. It's a double prank, baby. It's a double prank, come on. Come on, baby, let's go. Yo, you killed that, no way. Wait, did you actually uh, think that they weren't uh, gonna give it back? Yo, yo! Hey, honestly, he was way more calm than I thought. Yeah, no, I'm way more calm. Look at my hands. <laughs> I, like, I was waiting to step out through those doors so I could yell at my brother. <laughs> Seen this, but Yo, wait, did you actually believe it? Yeah, and no, in the beginning, I thought it was a random booker jersey. I was like, how rare. Yeah, when he walked in, he told Dennis, he's like, he said, Z, which means like, look, like in our language. And I'm like, oh, he spotted it already. That was way sooner. Like, he'll spot a D book jersey out of anything. It was hey, you see the GoPro. You see the red flag. And there's one more right here, brother. Dude. Yes, sir. Yes, Bro. sir. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, you guys did a super good job. Wait, you know that Amazon package? Yeah. That was all a part of the prank. Wait, the girl that fell? Yeah, the girl that oh, fell. I felt so bad. That's when we went into the house and grabbed the jersey. I was right at the door. Where did you go in from? I was at the door. The garage. Well, um, you guys keep the jersey. Bro, we'll be on our way. Wall. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Honey Hole Collectibles for letting us do this. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe. The ultimate prank, baby. I love you. Just no pranks back, please. Are you done? Bro, get the jersey off the wall. All right, we'll, we'll get it back. Peace out, guys.